Wipe that smug look off your face. Go on, then, mate. What change out? What have I done? What have I done? To deserve this. Look at her. She's just a kid. Leave him, Dad. Right, let's do this somewhere else. Everyone's upset. No, we tried to tell you, Jack. Oh, that, that makes a difference. I'm glad they've all seen what we've got to put up with. Is there anything I can do? Can I come back to the pub with you? No, love, you need to go home. Better go and see him. I'll come with you. You will not. It says who? Do you never stop? Just do as you're told for once in your life. No, we postponed the crowning until later. I'm not doing it. You'll be letting down the entire village. With family comes responsibility. And we're holding you responsible for the fact that your mother is a lunatic. Has anyone ever told you you're an amazing looking girl? Yeah, they're all perverts. Yeah, I work for a modelling agency on the side. Bring them. Are you winding me up? Tell them you've talked to Ryan. Oh, and by the way, I'm gay. Oh, sorry. Don't be. I'm not. See ya. stupid outfit. Promise me you'll never see him again. Of course, I now realise no matter what I want, you'll do the exact opposite. I meant, should I pack a bag? I mean, are you chucking me out or...? And go where? The bus shelter? What do you take me for? When did I turn into a monster? You're not. When do you think of the terrible things that people do to their kids? Bashing them and abusing them. So I'm meant to be grateful for not being abused? You used to like me. It's not about you! Until he came along. You didn't plan this, did you? It was him. He pushed you. Dad, it was my choice. I want to have a baby. Getting yourself pregnant and having a baby is two different things. One takes ten seconds and the other's an entire life. And I'm telling you, yours is going to be miserable. You're wrong. I'm going to prove it. How far gone are you? A few weeks. So we've got plenty of time to get used to it. I look at you. I see my kid. You're exactly the same on the outside. I'm sorry, love. Somewhere along the line we lost each other. I don't know who the hell you are anymore. And I want my kid back. Why couldn't you just get tattoos done, like normal kids? Because Andy's always got to go one better. We love each other and we're having a baby. What's more normal than that? I'm going to leave school and get a job. Where? Well, I could work with you. I wouldn't trust you. What, to shovel muck? To do anything! You've done nothing but betray me over and over again. We try to tell you how we feel over and over again. It's just laughing at everybody. All we want is to live our life where we want it, together. No, you ought to punish everyone because you couldn't get your own way. It's the fact that you planned it that hurts so much. But we didn't have any choice. It's a child's life. Not some stick to beat me and Brian with. Well, I'm happy and so's Katie. Yeah, at the minute. Well done, Andy. You got the best looking lass in school. Now just wait a few years until she's knackered and flabby and getting at you because you can't even afford a week in Skeggy. Not all women get fat. What's the point? Have another go if you must. You know, I only hope when you do become a parent that your child doesn't humiliate you the way you've humiliated me. It's going to be all right, Dad. Honest. You couldn't have hurt me more if you'd stuck a knife into me.
She has behaved appallingly. But I know that she's sorry, Donna. All right. Yeah, if that's what you want. Hey, good old love. Who was that? No broken bones. Takes more than a fool to stop me. Anyway, you should know how bendy I am. <laughs> You're certainly twisted. Viv, how could you? Well, you saw what they were like. They were bragging about it. They had no choice. They've got themselves in terrible trouble. And you, you exploited it. And for what? Some stupid beauty competition? You should be ashamed of yourself. Think I'll go and get changed. What for? I want to look my best. I wouldn't bother. That was Donna on the phone. She says that if she sees you there, she's not going to go through with it. Chris, Paul's here. Hello, Paul. Hiya. Zoe? Yes? Sorry, didn't mean to disturb you. Who are you? Paul Slater. I'm the community psychiatric nurse. I didn't call for anyone. Dr Mattingly suggested I should come around and see you. Any chance of a cup of tea? Yeah, I'll bring them through. Why? Why did he suggest that? Because he's been treating you for depression. But he's only a GP, whereas I'm more specifically involved, if you like. And what do you want? Just an answer, really. See how you're doing. I'm fine. Great. We'll be done in no time, then. Free drink for my son-in-law. Oh. I'm only sorry I missed the parade. Everything goes smoothly? Like clockwork. Mm. Apart from Katie being pregnant and Diane hitting Viv. I've only been up a ladder, you know. I'm not deaf. I feel so sorry for the kids. And Jack and Brian. Do you think I'd be any use if I went up there? Not today. I'm sure they'll give you a shout if they need you. I didn't know it you two out with you and Jacks. Yeah, well, not all as he's approved, Trisha. No, I'm an Irishman. Are you bragging or complaining? Trisha, the mayor wants serving. We don't allow animals at the bar. <laughs> she always has such an interesting take on things, that one. Oh, she does my head in sometimes. How dare you turn my property into a car park? I think you'll find that we've driven over your property and onto mine. It's bad enough that you're a Republican without you fleecing those poor people whose sole interest is to celebrate the Jubilee. I've no complaints. Well, you have now. I'm complaining. <laughs> it will do by the time I've finished with him, right? My legs aren't what they used to be! Mine aren't what they were five minutes ago. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Turner. Hello. Oh, hello. Tell me the best thing about being an MP. Oh, I don't know, being socially useful. Well, events like this, of course. Really? Hey, and uh, 50-odd grand a year is not to be sniffed at. <laughs> Gloria! Finally found a decent fella. Harry Partridge, MP, Zach's mother. Oh, pleasure to meet you, love. Hope I can rely on your vote in the future. You'll have to work on me. I'm an anarchist. I used to be one of them, eh? When I was young and good-looking like you, eh? <laughs> Howard Keel's got nout on him! I'll give you £20 to stalk him. Done. Fabulous house you've got here. It isn't mine. What's it like living with your brother? I couldn't stand to live with mine. Well, I'm only staying here, but... I don't like the fact that he meddles in my life. And how's he done that? You tell me. I think he's concerned about you. You've not been your usual self. How would you know? I, I, I don't even know who you are. You, you, you come into my house, you interrogate me. This is my home. My mistake. I should have shown you this straight away. Well, you can get those done in the local garage for peanuts. I do know what's going on here. Chris says I'm not a bad person. And who says you are? Everybody, all the time. Zoe, I don't think you're a bad person. I didn't ask you to... Who sent you? Dr Mattingly. Well, you could be dead for all I know. I don't want you here. I think you know you're not very well. So I'd like you to consider coming into a clinic. No, I'm sorry, no. 
I know Dr Mattingly's already suggested a psychiatrist, and I agree with him. Well, I don't. Should I pour the tea out before it gets cold? You can pour what you like. I want to have a whiskey. She'd prefer to watch the telly. Can't say I blame her. How bad is she? Charity. Well, we may as well cut to the chase. Could it be physical? She's obviously distressed. She's not sleeping and she's very anxious, but I can't say what's causing it. Then why come? And I've asked her to come into a clinic. Oh, here we go. Look, Paul, we can afford whatever. Can you help us find a private clinic? Of course, but I can't do anything if she won't come voluntarily. And what if she keeps refusing? You need to persuade her. If she goes on as she is, it's going to be a lot more serious than a voluntary clinic. Dad, why has it got to be the worst thing in the world? Because you've got no idea what you're letting yourselves in for. If you have a baby with Andy, that's it. You're tied to him for the rest of your life. That's why we're having it. It's not like getting a kitten. You're treating me like a kid. I mean, look at Letitia Daggett. She does all right. And she's a single parent. With a mam and a brother to dump her baby on. I work with Cynthia. The poor woman's racing from one job to the next. She's knackered. So you're worried you'll get dumped on? Well, you won't, cos me and Andy will do it ourselves. I've worked it all out, Dad. When you've been lying, pretending you hate each other, that's what I can't get my head around. How you've been so wicked and devious. Yeah, well, you and Jack are just as much to blame. What? Well, if you two had have stuck your oar in... So it's our fault? Well, maybe. Yeah, if you like. I mean, if having a baby is what proves that we should be together... That is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Listen to yourself. Well, it makes more sense than listening to you. I'm sorry if I've hurt you, Dad. I'm glad I'm pregnant. Queen, God save I thought it was going to take another 50 years to get this one crowned. <laughs> but like most things British, we get there in the end, eh? And that's a lot to be proud of, eh? Well, speech is over. Grubs up! They call that a speech? Oh, you can win hearts with brevity, Eric. Tea. Uh, are you staying to take tea? Wonderful idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And second thoughts. Bard, from my own daughter's proudest moment. Put the house up for sale, Bob. We're moving. I thought it was a rather poor show. The Tate's not showing up. Oh, they're probably up at Home Farm counting their money. Well, if there was a problem, you would let me know. Of course I would. Oh, that's Zach calling me. Excuse me, Alan. Revit in my eye. Probably got a woman tucked away somewhere. Probably. Oh. What are they doing now? Never mind, then. I'd like us to spend a few moments of quality time. When they're making fools of us, Gloria, we've got more important things to do than canoodle.
Do you want a beer? It's a bit early to be wetting the baby's head. I'm not sorry she's pregnant. If you keep saying that, you might just believe it. This was supposed to be a happy day. How am I going to explain things to Victoria? I'll talk to her. You will not. And just what sort of example do you think you're setting here? What do you mean? This doesn't just affect you and Katie, you know. Victoria adores you. So? You really haven't thought about this at all, have you? I have. And what if she gets it into her head that it's all honky-dory to be pregnant at 15? Th then I'll tell her it isn't. For her. You know, talking to anybody think that you hated having kids. Oh, don't twist it. <laughs> tell you, if I had my time again... <sighs> Old folk always trot that one out. Well, that's the point, son. I got old the day I became a parent. She's had an appalling couple of years and I can't help feeling that we've added to it. So what? We get divorced? And then she wakes up tomorrow and she's all right? It doesn't matter what caused it. It does matter. She's ill. And yes, I do feel guilty. But us arguing and blaming each other is not going to help, is it? You didn't see the look she gave me earlier. Chris, she's frightened. Wouldn't you be? Yes. I am. Yeah, well, so am I. Look at us. What the hell are we doing? You're going to have to persuade her to get out, Chris. Joseph is going to be back in a few days, and if it gets any worse... All right! You're not going to press charges against Diane, are you, Mum? suppose not. Oh, I know I'm the world's worst mother. No, you're not. Oh, I've never been first to anything. Always somebody's wife or Carol's friend. Never Vivian. Never numero uno. That's not true. You were Miss Naughty Nylons. Yeah, and they cut my head off the pictures. Yeah, but your legs came first. I ended a pageant once with Carol. Guess who won? She probably slept with the judges. No, I did. And they still picked her. Well, that's all in the past now, love. Donna's got some great news. What? You know that photographer? Well, he's recommending me to a modelling agency in Leeds. I've got to ring him. You're going to be a model? No, she's going to make a phone call. You're jumping ahead of yourself again, Viv. of loose chains. <laughs> hey, enjoy yourself a bunch of my two royalist. Success for round, then. Gloria, you've got to let me out. <laughs> Don't ever refuse my canoodling again. Look, you won't have to go for long, and, and Paul's a really nice bloke, and he seems to know what he's talking about. Well, you don't. Fair enough, but I know you're not well, Zoe. Maybe you're the one that's not well. Well, OK, then, if it makes you feel better, we'll go there together. Do you hear this, Chris? She's trying to get on her own with me again. I am trying to help you. Oh, by getting rid of me. I am not stupid, and I know he's in on it. Who? Paul and you. Charity is right, we're talking about a few days. A few days, then a few weeks, then a few months, and then you'll all be having a party. You said, you said, you said that you loved me. You said that you'd help me. Tell her, tell her that I don't want to go. Yeah, I can easily. Are you going to make me go? I can't make you do anything. Let's see. Hey, you know, in them days, you was lucky if you even got to look at a banana. What? It was the age of austerity. Everything were rationed after the war. Anyway, the golden coach went down the mouth. The shopping mouth. Oh, show some respect. And I swear, as she passed, she was waving, and she looked me right in the eye. And she shouted, who's that ugly-looking git over there? <laughs> <laughs> You could laugh all you want. And that was it, one look and you all trooped out? That was enough. It was a very proud moment. Oh. Dad, I know you're angry. I'm not just angry. I'm disappointed. I'm hurt. 
Mostly I'm desperately sorry for you. And I wish to God I'd made you go and live with your mother instead of coming with me. But we've never seen each other. I'd have preferred that to this nightmare. It was never going to work. Dad bringing up a daughter. But Mum wasn't much older than me when she got pregnant. And what happened there? Babies don't bring people together, Katie. And I don't care what you and that idiot next door might think. I've got a school project to finish. Fine. I can wait. I'm going nowhere. I'm never going to see you again. You're not sicker, are you? My dad was crying, Andy. It was awful. Well, come round. You'll have to. Have we done the right thing? It's the only thing we could do. I do love you. I love you too. Everything's fine then. Just be strong and you can't touch us. See ya. <laughs> 